Hello, everybody. It's Gloria from Gigi the Crochet Queen, where I bring my love of crochet to inspire you to learn to crochet or to advance your skills. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's tutorial will be on the turtleneck hoodie that I made over a year ago. And my first video was not a good video, and I've gotten lots of comments regarding it. So I thought I would uh, make another one and hopes that this will be much better than the first one. So what you will need for this video, sorry, what you will need for this tutorial is a H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter hook, a J hook, which is a 6.0 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, measuring tape, and a stitch marker is optional. I will also be using my Big Twist yarn. And this is the Big Twist value yarn. And you can see it has 380 yards. And this is a four medium weight yarn. And the color is soft purple. So this will be really nice. It's um, coming into springtime uh, in a couple of months. So let's give it a little pop of purple. So get your materials together and let's get started. So to start this, you want to start with a slip knot, and this is how I do mine, and do your slip, out, slip knot however is comfortable for you. Then you want to do a chain of 70. Now some people have asked me in the comments um, how to size it, and since I got this from another YouTube channel, they did not do any recommendations for sizing. So, um, I am sure you can find other, um, videos on how to do a turtleneck hoodie or a cowl or whatever they, not a hoodie, um, yeah, it's a hoodie, um, that probably have the sizes, but unfortunately I have only played with this one size and which is pretty much for an average size woman or, um, a teenager. So make your 70 chains and I will meet you at the end of your 70 chains. I have done my chain of 70 and you want to just pull the chain to the end and make sure it's not twisted and then slip stitch into that first chain. Now you have your loop. Now you want to chain two, one, two, and you want to do a double crochet in each stitch around. And you want to also crochet over that tail if you don't want to weave in that in at the end or you can leave it out if you want to weave it in whichever is easiest for you I like to crochet over my tails because that'll be one less thing I will have to weave it in at the end so go ahead and do double crochets all the way around and I will meet you at the end of your round. I am at the end, did my last double crochet, and you want to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. I'm trying to make sure I stay on the camera. Then you want to chain two. Now, 
what you will be doing is a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet and you will be alternating front post back post so if you've never done a front post yarn over you go under the post of that double crochet grab the yarn pull it under and then do a double crochet for the back post double crochet yarn over and you're going behind your post then go in front of it and put your hook through grab a yarn pull the yarn through which will be in front of that post oops go behind front grab a yarn pull it through and do a double crochet so you're alternating front post double crochet and back post double crochet around so continue front post and back post double crochets around and I will meet you at the end I am at my last stitch, which is a back post double crochet. And slip stitch into the top of that front post double crochet, chain two, and then you're just going to repeat front post and back post double crochets until your piece measures eight inches or if you want it longer you just continue till you get to the length that you want so I am going to continue to do my front post back post double crochets until my piece measures eight inches so I will meet you when I'm my piece is measured at eight inches. So again, you're just doing front post and back post double crochets around and around, slip stitch to join, chain two, and continue front post and back post double crochets until it is eight inches or whatever length that you want it to be but eight inches is the pattern and that is what i am going for so i will see you then this is what mine looks like right now Okay, so I have finished the turtleneck portion of my turtleneck hoodie and weaved in my tail. So we're going to do a quick measurement and it measures about eight and a half, which is a little longer than hers and... The, the width length of it. of it is about nine inches. And I believe I did 22 rows of the front post and back post double crochets. So now we're going to move on to the hoodie portion of it. So what you want to do is look for your seam, the seam where the uh, chain twos were. And you go to that seam, you fold it over. 
and you're going to be starting on the opposite end of your seam. So let's get the yarn. So we're going to be using the J hook for the hoodie portion of this. So you want to start again on the opposite end. Fold it over, look for the middle, and that's about the middle. And you want to do a slip stitch to join on that side. Okay, pull that. And you want to do a chain two. Now you do a chain two and you want to do a half double crochet into the next five stitches. Your chain two does count as a stitch. So that's three, four, five. So that is a total of six half double crochets with your chain two. Now in the seventh stitch, you want to do two half double crochets. It's one and two. Then six half double crochets across. It's one, two, Three, four, five, six, and again two half double crochets into the next stitch. And that is your repeat around. And again, you do a half double crochet into the next six stitches, and then two half double crochets into the next one. I will meet you at the end of this round, this row. I am at the end. I am going to do my last six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you should have one stitch remaining open. Now you want to chain one and turn your work. And you want to do in the back loop only. So we're going to be working in the back loop only. So you want to do a half double crochet into the back loop only. In each stitch round until you get to the end. And in the last stitch, you want to do two half double crochets into the back loop only. So just do half double crochets into the back loop only until you get to the other side and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm coming to the end of round two or row two. And I'm continuing with the back loop, only half double crochets into the back loop. And on the last stitch, you will do two half double crochets into the last stitch. So you chain one, turn your work, and I 
again you're doing half double crochets into the back loop only until you get to the last stitch and you would put two half double crochets into that last stitch so I am on row 3 so row 3 through 16 is the repeat row half double crochets into the back loop only until the last stitch and you put two half double crochets into the back loop only chain one turn your work and repeat so that is from row three through 16 and I will meet you on row 16 back loop only on all of these next rows and two half double crochets into the back loop on your last stitch on each row so you see you have that ribbing that ridge there from the back loops so continue that process and I will meet you on at the end of row 16 okay so I have finished my 16 rows with the increases at the end of each row so now we're moving on to the last part of the turtleneck hoodie and we're still working with the J-hook. So starting at row 17, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you want to skip the first half double crochet and double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch around so row 17 you skip the first half double crochet and half double crochet into the back loop only until you get to the end of the round and I will meet you there end of the row I am at the end of row 17 and doing my half double crochets into the back loop only. Chain one, turn your work. Again, skip your first half double crochet and half double crochet into the next one and into each stitch around and this is your repeat so for the next you want to have a total of 14 rounds of decreasing at the beginning of each round so again when you get to the end you want to chain one turn your work and skip your first half double crochet and half double crochet around into the back loop only and I will meet you at the end of your 14th round and what I like to do is put a stitch marker on that first one so that I'll be able to keep track of my count and I don't have to keep going back and trying to figure out where because they do change you went from increasing now you're decreasing so again you want to do 14 rounds of the decrease and I'll meet you at the end so I have finished my last stitch of the 14 rows of decreasing and you just want to fasten off And weave in your tail a 
I usually go like that. You can weave in however you want to weave in, just as long as you get that tail in and secured and so it's not poking out looking at you. I want to make sure I stay on camera. I just weave in that tail. And I try to go back and forth and get the tail weaved in. Then cut off your excess. Take out my stitch marker. And this is what you should have. And you can see where you went from the increasing to the decreasing. And that's your turtleneck part there. Now what we need to do is take this in and we are going to sew it up so that your hoodie is closed. So get you a long piece of yarn. And I like mine to be long because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Because you do not want to have to go back and get another piece of yarn to finish off. So I always get a long at least two or three times the length of whatever I'm going to be sewing. And you can do this either one or two strands. I think I'm going to do two. So you want to make sure your stitches are all lined up. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go in here, at the very end, and go around again, and make a knot, Just slip it through, so that you can make a knot. You just want to go back and forth on the stitches and don't pull it too tight because you don't want it bunched up and just make sure your stitches are lined up and you're just going go from the back to the front front to the back so go ahead and sew up the hoodie part of your turtleneck hoodie and I'll meet you at the end. Uh oh, I just messed up. <laughs> go back the other way. Uh oh, what I do wrong? Well, let me go figure that out. And I'll meet you at the end. I am at my last two stitches. And I'm going to just wrap that around so I can make a knot there. 
it's all sewed up now. And I'm just going to go through there and then weave in the tail. Trying to make sure I stay on camera. Go back snip that I like to give it a little tug so it will go back in and then this little tail here. You're going to weave those in as well. And your turtleneck hoodie will be finished and ready. To wear or to gift. this off and we're finished now I'm going to turn it inside out or anyway <laughs> oh when I say that I always inside out anywho and that is what it looks like. All sewed up. And then you want to take the turtleneck part of it and turn it inward like so. And fold it down. And that's what it should look like. So I am going to put it on my mannequin so that you'll see what it really looks like because this is a hard way to see it. And I will have some pictures. This is the finished product on my mannequin Bonita. I think it's beautiful as every one of them that I've made it has turned out really nice so this is the front of it and now this is what it looks like from the side still a beautiful shot um, and it's thick enough around the neck so you'll stay warm around your face you'll stay warm and you can also if you want to, you can pull up the turtleneck part of it so it'll cover the, your mouth and nose. This is what it looks like from behind. Again, a still a beautiful um, item to look at sideways, front or back. It is beautiful. So I hope that you will appreciate my efforts to make this a better video for your viewing. And if you make one, please share with me on my Facebook page or via email, ggthecrochetqueen at gmail.com. So until my next video, stay safe, keep crocheting. Bye-bye.